Hey man, how many of y'all are unhappy right now? How many of y'all feel like you don't have a purpose right now? I think those two are related, honestly. Um, I feel like being happy is directly linked to your purpose, how, how much you feel like you're contributing to something oftentimes your community, you know, and I feel like that's something that I've been facing, something that I, I was facing, you know, it's something that I had to really dig deep and think about, you know, why was I so unhappy, you know, I was so unhappy, so, so depressed, I was feeling so, so low, but at the same time, I didn't have a purpose, you know, at the same time, I had lost, you know, everything that I was doing, you know, because of everything that's been going on, Everything that I was working on just hit, boom, straight, flat, bottom. Everything got eliminated. And so I had to reevaluate myself, uh, redirect my attention. And so that's why I've been, you know, focusing on photography and videography and, and, and design and all that kind of stuff because that has always been another love of mine. Um, and I think you guys have seen that in a lot of my videos and stuff. And I've really been buckling down and really focusing on that and it's helped me tremendously just because I've been able to I've been able to find a purpose again and, and it's made me so much happier you know my mind doesn't have time to to think about negative things um, I just have the ability to focus on what I'm doing and, and, and the skills that I'm trying to gain and just trying to be a better person you know but I lost that I, I lost that once everything happened um, almost almost instantly and so you know I say this because you guys don't be afraid to to start over you know and I know I'm young you know I'm, I'm 25 so you know a lot of people will say that oh you have time to start over and I kinda do but I feel like most of us have time to start over um, to some degree a lot of us have time to start over we just do you know, whether you can go all 100 to begin with, or you can only put in 20% to begin with, we have the ability to start over and do something different and be great at multiple things. Um, and that is a huge thing towards that pursuit of happiness. You know, I think the, the pursuit to happiness is, is purpose, you know, finding your purpose, the pursuit to your purpose. And, um, yeah, I, I, that's just been a huge thing for me, is just continuing to find where do I fit in society, where can I help, where can I be of use, you know, and if you're not doing anything, you know, for others, in a way, it can make you unhappy too, you know, um, it's one thing to do stuff for yourself, and, and I... I encourage all of you to really focus on yourself to really focus on upgrading you because that comes first before you can even help anybody you got to help yourself before you can help anyone you got to help you you got to upgrade yourself you know like I listen to a lot of motivational speakers and things like that and I listen to Eric Thomas and one of the biggest things he said in one of his motivational speeches were you got to upgrade yourself. We're so busy upgrading our cell phones, upgrading our cars, upgrading all these technologies and material things, but we're not upgrading ourselves. And, and without that, we can't, we can't help others. We can't do what we need to do or what we want to do. You know, I eventually want to, want to build a whole bunch of different companies and corporations, media companies and, and health organizations and things like that. And I need to upgrade myself in order to do that. And so, I hope some of you can relate to that. You need to focus more on you. I hope you can hear me over the jingles in the back. I think it's kind of peaceful though. It's kind of peaceful. Just listen to it for a little bit. Hold on. It's nice. That's lovely. Um, but yeah, so like everything had to come to a head and uh you know fighting was my purpose at one point oh by the way i wanted to talk to y'all so did y'all know that i'm like 
Like these glasses are much needed. I I really like. I fight blind almost. Seriously, like I do. Like I can almost not see when I get in the ring or or in the octagon. I can't see because I can kind of see normal. You know, when I'm when I have my glasses off, I have to really focus in my eyes. But like I can't see. You know, and, and it's hard to focus in when you have adrenaline rush going and things are moving fast. And it's just, it's a lot. And oftentimes, it's not the brightest of settings, you know. And so, it's hard for me to see. And so, oftentimes, when I'm fighting, I just focus on, you know, shoulder movements. Just little little signs of people throwing whatever. Because oftentimes, I I can't see the punches coming. And that's a, that's a huge thing. If I could, if I could see, y'all would be in, y'all would be in deep, deep trouble. I'm telling y'all that. I'm telling y'all that. So, yeah, all of my fights... I fought blind like I, I could barely see I could barely I can I can kind of remember my fights but most of it is blurry so like if I remember it it's just a lot of like blurriness honestly and so a lot of the the memories I have of fighting is through like video footage and stuff like that like oh yeah I kind of remember that kind of kind of um so yeah that's 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 another thing you know is those kinds of experiences. Um, I wanted to see how much time I had left. Uh, what's another thing I want to talk to y'all about? Oh, um, challenges I see myself facing coming into photography and being a freelance photographer and videographer. Um, again, I know I've talked to you guys about this a little bit before, but I am a huge introvert, and so I'm finding that, you know, I'm. It's hard for me to to walk up to somebody and say, hey, can I take your picture? Hey, can I do this? Can I? I went to a, a protest um, this past weekend, and, you know, there's this, there this older gentleman, and, you know, he was just walking up to people, killing it, just, hey, can I take your picture? Hey, can I take your picture? Hey, can I? And I was just like, if he could do it, I could definitely do it. I just got to step outside of myself. I just got to step outside of that bubble. You know, I'm such a huge introvert, and that's something that I, I like. I said I, I've fought with before when it when it comes to when it comes to teaching and things like that, and it's just another hurdle that I'm trying to jump over when I uh, when it comes to this freelance thing. You know, I, I have to kind of step outside of my comfort zone, and I think that's going to be good for me at the end of the day. But yeah, it's going to be that, and another another um, problem I see is kind of the same problem that. I, I kind of experienced in the beginning when it comes to uh, personal training when I was a freelance trainer was that um, you have to continuously make yourself busy. You have to continuously try to find clientele um, because for fear of your your business going flat and you're making no money at some point, you know, and that's happened before. And so you have to try to find ways of continuously making that flow go and oftentimes you can't just be in one niche like okay I'm just going to take pictures of models that's cool and all and you might be able to do that in the future just have a model niche but how I'm starting it off is maybe I'll take pictures of models and maybe I'll take pictures of of businesses and and, and I'll make advertisements for businesses and, and and I'll go out and I'll just be a, a freelance photographer for for, for stock photos and all kinds of different things just to keep myself busy to make sure that I always have some sort of flow going you know I'll, I'm also thinking about doing a documentary series actually I'm actually past the point of, of thinking about it I, I just need people to do it and so I have a couple of people in mind that I want to do for that but yeah that those are the challenges that I see stepping outside of my introvert ways and trying to keep the flow going when it comes to to clientele and um we'll see how it goes i feel confident in it um but yeah let's see Hold on. what's the time on this what, what am i what am i at oh nine minutes and 30 seconds the other one was like 11 minutes i think so i'm trying to make these things longer y'all because i want it to be something that y'all can just y'all can just pop on and just listen to and just hopefully vibe with and 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 understand where I'm coming from. You know, hopefully I'm making sense. Um, again, ask questions at the bottom, y'all. Ask questions. I'm trying to get something going here. 
and I need a flow of questions so I can create these conversations so I can create these kinds of talks um, this will be my my third one I'm killing it out here I don't know anybody who's more active than me right now I'm doing photography I'm still running AFAP I'm doing the Tanaka TV I am <laughs> I'm murdering the game right now. I'm, <laughs> but yeah, like ask me some questions. Anything it could be about photography, MMA, just like just like that that me fighting blind. You know, a person asked me about that. They were like, "Wait, you wear glasses and you fight and wait, but you're like super blind. Like, look how thick these lenses are. Let me see. Hold up. Let me see if I can. They've actually gotten much better too. Look at this." See how thick that, let me see if I can turn it the other way, hold up. Look at that, look at how thick, that's thick. That's th I know, I used to get picked on all the time. In elementary school, middle school, stuff like that. Oh, there are four eyes, the <laughs> bottle cap, uh, you got the BCs, BCs, you know, B birth control glasses. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, uh, Kids are mean. They're ruthless, aren't they? Man, stop the bullying. Stop the bullying. Kids can't help their bad eyesight, man. Jeez. But, uh, yeah, ask me more questions, and um, I would love to, to, to talk to y'all. You know, this is like a virtual talk almost. Um, I'm going to eventually try to set up some live things so you guys can maybe ask me questions as I'm doing this. So it's like I'm talking to you as I'm doing this, so I'm like talking to you in real time, but then you get to see it later, so it's like recorded real time of you asking me questions so yeah ask me questions also go check out um my new photography page d tanaka photography that's on instagram d tanaka photography that's on facebook i'm also currently building a website that'll be up hopefully within the next couple of weeks um yeah get, get, stay tuned stay tuned um yeah i'm gonna try to put out another one of these maybe maybe tomorrow so um everybody enjoy your what's today tuesday today's tuesday and um yeah peace